Hi guys, in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to connect PostgreSQL with database in SSIS, SQL Server Integration Service. So first here, if you go on this uh, Visual Studio, here this is the project. So you need to go on this DW Dev project is there. So here you need to go on this connection manager. So, so right click there, then click on this new connection. So there I'm going to connect with the PostGre. So here let's uh, use ODVC and click on this add so here you can see this is available so first here in google search box right there odvc data source so creating the odvc data source for post key so here click on this add and now you can see or uh, this odvc that's available so here you should use the dev art odvc driver for post key so in google search box right there dev art odvc driver for post key as well so you need to download and install this then after you can get that after that click on this finish and here you need to give this all detail if i go on this google search box okay so busy admin if i write there so here you can see PostgreSQL that is already installed or already in my system. So PostgreSQL must be installed in your system. After that you can connect with the Postgre and SSIS, SQL Server Integration Service. Now you can see this space that's come there. Let's click on this server and here give for Postgre is the user and give the password. And after that, click on this OK. So this connected there. And uh, after that here, you should give the DSN, data source name. So giving here PostGrace and here underscore SSIS. After that, if you want, then you can give the description. So server, since I'm going to connect with the local system, so writing there local host. Here 5421 is the port. Here give the post username that is post case. Give the password. And here database by default that is post case. And after giving see post key SSIS that's come there. So the next is let's click on this new and uh, here you can see this list of data source that's available, decent available. So then I, I just created Postgres SSIS. Here username you need to give Postgres and give the password. And after giving this click on this test button. Now you can see test connection succeeded. Click on OK and OK. So here Postgres that's added there. After that, here uh, we need to take the source. So let's uh, here perform one to one mapping, transferring Postgres table data into flat file. So let's use the adio.net source, double click there, then click on this name. Here I just created Postgres SSIS. Okay, click on this OK. Then from this you can connect, uh, select the tables. Let's use their EMP. And here if I go on this column, here you can see this list of column is there. Let's go on this connection manager, so preview data. So this preview data that's present there, click on OK. And after that, the next is let's take their target. So I'm going to use their flat file destination select the source drag there double click on this here click on this new ok and click on this browse so desktop here creating the new file so here giving emp underscore post grace dot to creating the file csv you can create csv text excel and the file is creating on this desktop click on open and thereafter 
here this all let's uh, select the columns so this column is there that come from the source advanced paired here you can uh, see here emp number e name and this all data type if you want then you can do any changes this place and this here preview and uh, here let's go on this mapping so this selected here this all looking fine and now let's save that then after click on this start so here you can see or uh, this here 14 rows that's loaded into the flat file the blank flat file and here if I click this here you can see 14 records that's come there okay so this is how we can connect PostgreSQL so this is how we can connect PostgreSQL uh, with SSIS SQL Server Integration Service so and this is how we can transfer the data PostgreSQL data into a flat file or you can do the same other destination also so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.